easy to grow, quick, highly nutritious crops that are bursting with raw, crisp flavor? The only problem is which one to choose. Hi, I'm Jeff from the Ripe Tomato Farms. Welcome back to another episode of The Garden Quickie, the show where in two minutes or less, we'll never make you choose. And today's episode is all about sprouts versus microgreens. Or more specifically, what the heck is the difference between the two? Hey, time short as you know it is, so let's get into it. When microgreens first came out, or at least when the term first became popular, many people questioned whether it was just a fancy new name for sprouts. The answer is no, of course it's not. These are two very different products. In simple terms, sprouts and microgreens refer to specific stages in a plant's life cycle. It goes deeper than that though, as sprouts and microgreens are grown differently, they taste different, and they have completely different end products. Let me explain. Sprouts are the just germinated seeds of specific plants grown only in water. They are never potted or planted up, and they're ready for harvest in about a week or even less. On the flip side, Microgreens are planted in soil immediately after the initial soaking period, and they're allowed to grow up, even getting to the true leaf stage. So while your sprouts like these mung beans here are going to go from dry seed to harvest in a week, sometimes even less, microgreens such as this daikon radish are going to go past that sprout stage for at least another week to 10 days. On top of that, sprouts are eaten whole. That means the roots, shoots, and sometimes even the seed coat. Microgreens, on the other hand, well, they're grown purely for the shoots. And because of this, in addition to requiring soil and being potted or planted up, they need access to light, real or artificial, to fully grow properly. Two crop types that share a near identical initial 24 hours right off the bat, only to diverge into two very awesome outcomes. Know what else is gonna have an awesome outcome? Hopefully the next episode of the Garden Quickie. Thanks for watching guys. And hey, if Garden Quickies are your thing, be sure to click on this playlist here as we explore and solve more growing issues in two minutes or less.